What is up, TOL Squad? Welcome back to Taste of Love. I'm Narani, and today we're making what you guys have asked for. We are making chocolate covered pineapples using a fresh pineapple. So, of course, if you want to become part of the squad, you already know what to do. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every single time a new video drops. And, of course, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up so you'll see more videos. And leave us a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll do it, just like this one. Come on, let's make chocolate covered pineapples. Okay, so right here we have our fresh pineapple, a sharp knife, and my cutting board. So let's get started. We're gonna cut the top of our pineapple off. And then we're gonna cut down the sides. So there are, there's the, I don't know what it's called. I don't have one yet. Ooh, there's a brown spot. Um, but there's this little tool that you can use to cut the whole pineapple out and pull out the core. I don't have one yet, so that might be something to invest in. But if you guys have one and you guys use it, let me know if you like it in the comment section so I'll know which one to get. And then we can do an unboxing and see how great it works. So before I learned how to do the pineapple ring, I was doing them like this because I didn't really know that you could do the pineapple rings. If you haven't yet seen our video using the pineapple rings, make sure you go ahead and check that video out. The link is going to be right above. Alright, cut that bottom off. And now let's go ahead and throw all the skin away so we can start cleaning up our pineapple. Okay, so... Our pineapple still has some of these little eyes on them, so we're just going to take those out and then we're going to slice them all up. If you guys have ever made chocolate pineapples using fresh pineapples, let me know what method you guys use. If you guys did it this way or which way you did it. And if you're going to make it, also let me know. And if you do make it, you know, tag me on Instagram. Show me how it came out. I'd love to see you guys' work. It's a lot of them. Seems like I didn't take any of them out when I peeled it. Alright. So I think we have most of them off. Are you seeing any? Nah. Just on the Maybe bottom. at the top and bottom. Alright, so I'm gonna cut it. So now this is how I cut it. Of course, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. But, as always, I show you guys what works for me and how I like to do it. I don't like the core. I don't want the core to be in it, and I don't ever like to have it there. So I cut around it. And there we go. Core. Garbage. The best parts are right here. Now this piece has a little bit of the core right here. If you guys see it. But we'll take that out in a minute. So let's go ahead and chunk up our pineapple. So it depends on how you want to cut it. You can cut them in chunks like this. And then dip them. Or you can cut them in spears. And then dip them this way. It just depends on how you want to do them. We're going to dip both ways so you guys can see them. And we're going to put the rest of this pineapple up for right now. So let's get ready to dip. Alright, so now we're just going to put them over here on our lined parchment paper bit. And then drop them again. That's why I use a bigger bowl for when I dip fresh pineapples 
because it's just easier just to drop it in there and then pull them out. Okay, so while these four bits is wet, we're gonna go ahead and cover them with strawberry crunch. So, we're just gonna literally throw the strawberry crunch over it so that it'll be covered. And if you want it on the sides also, you can do that. You just have to pat it on there like this. I'm not going to cover mine all the way around. I'm going to cover my spares all the way around though. So let's go ahead and dip our spares. And I'm just going to move this to the side. I have some room. Well, I can really put my spears right here. Okay, so we're not going to move it to the side. We're just going to leave them right there. So I'm going to do the same thing with the spears. I'm going to drop them in the chocolate and take them out. Flip them over in the chocolate. Make sure the whole thing is covered. I'm just shaking it off so that the excess chocolate would fall off and not pull to the bottom of our spare. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our strawberry crunch. I'm covering the whole top. You can barely see it. <clears throat> the bowl in the way too. And then you can tell that there's a lot of the of excess, but when you pick them up and it's dry, it'll just come off. Let's go ahead and dip the rest. they're dry they're not really moist can you guys see like that's really what the paper towel was good for um i prefer to use paper towel over a cloth or a dish towel or anything like that i've seen some videos where people use cloths and stuff but i just prefer paper towels it's up to you what you want to um dry them off with leave me a comment and let me know what you dry your fresh pineapples off with Maybe there's something better that I don't know about. All right, our final spare. Do you guys bowl? You know when you bowl, they be like, spare, and you be like, yes! <laughs> okay, so this is our last spit pineapple spare, and we're just gonna cover this one in our strawberry, oop, it broke. In half, oh my gosh. Oh well, we're still gonna eat them. They'll still be delicious. All right. So apart from that one breaking, which probably was because it was so narrow, it was really thin. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and, okay. Better? Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and add the strawberry crunch on this side. Doesn't 
that look delicious? If you guys love strawberry crunch, leave me a comment and also let me know. And make sure you guys check out the strawberry crunch tutorial. The link is already in the description, but it's also been put into the video. Different parts, right? Because we've mentioned it a few times. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're just going to leave them to dry. And then we'll be back in one minute after they dry. Okay, so now that our pineapples have dried, we're going to pick them up and transfer them to wherever you want to transfer them to. I guess this would be where you put them in your containers, you put them in the refrigerator, you serve them. Whatever you're going to do with them. Eat them. They look delicious. I'm just shaking off the excess that didn't stick on the top. I think I like this one better because it looks like a little cheesecake chunks. What do you guys think? Spares or chunks? Spares or chunks? Spares or chunks? Which one do you guys like better? I think I like the... I like the spares. You like spares? That's a lot. Then I can only eat one. With the chunks, I can probably eat a few of them. And if you're not going to serve them or you're not going to eat them right away, go ahead and refrigerate it because after all, it is cut fruit and chocolate. Alright, TOL squad, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe so you'll be notified every single time we drop a new video. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed our back-to-back -back tutorials. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.